Now moving on with Catholicism. Look at the eye of Lucifer here. That is the Egyptian eye. Don't get deceived. You have the Egyptian obelisk at St. Peter's Square, and therefore you have the eye in the triangle, the eye of Horus, or the eye of Lucifer. This is Luciferian. Look at it. All of this icon, all of these idols, an adornment of Rome. Don't get deceived. Look at this opulence. It takes money, serious money, to do this. And look at that eye again, the eye of Lucifer. There's that fish hat. This is paintings in the Vatican. Look at the eye of Lucifer. Look at the Ouroboros here. All of this occult symbology. The colonial system of Rome is with us today, and it's prophesied to, to be here, and is coming back globally. We have here bank buildings, and there is a lot more than this. The use of uh, this is a uh, homosexual church, and they've done adorn this uh, eye of Lucifer. This is in uh, South America. Here is uh, a stained glass window. Uh, I believe this is actually in, no, this is in a, uh, a Freemasonic Lodge. Uh, this is the Solvent Cross being used that you see in Rome. And then the double-headed eagle, black and white. We've seen that before. This is an actual depiction of the uh, uh, 33rd uh, uh, degree em emblem. Very um, clear image of that. Uh, like I said, I don't like to uh, quote from Blavatsky, but she tells you that the Templar and those Masonic lodges, uh, which now claim to uh, a direct descendant from the ancient Templars, their persecution by the church was a farce from the beginning. So I can corroborate that information. The only thing that I am completely against is who she says is her God. So there are truths that you can find, and there are complete opposite lies that you can find so um, uh, but uh, uh, that is a an example of intelli how intelligence works you separate yourself from the organization so that they can't come back to bite you and say hey you're involved with this organization so that's how they like to do things here's um, the um, a Jesuit symbol look at this does this look like Christianity I'm sorry uh, Adam Weisop uh, there was a Jesuit priest studied at uh, Jesuit University now look at the adornment here look at the nails and the nine inch nails of uh, that uh, band look at now we've seen this before the IHS within this Kabbalah uh, and the so you can see the influence of what Jesuitism has had this is Kircher who did this Kabbalah uh, chart and that's there's different Kabbalah, there's Jewish Kabbalah, there's Christian Kabbalah, uh, all rooting from the same Gnostic Kabbalist uh, ancient mystery religions. You can see here IHS. Uh, a lot of people say this is Isis, Horus, Set. Uh, I don't believe that to be the case. I be believe it has to do with Hermeticism. Uh, so you see Hermeticism, uh, uh, Horus here, uh, perhaps. Uh, intellectus, I, some of this, but you see the IHS being used now with this mercury, uh, all of this occult uh, symbology. I don't know what that meaning is quite, uh, and I haven't pinned it down. This is the Kirkwall scroll, which uh, is a testimony to uh, Freemasonry and the use of this I, H, and S. And that's a long scroll uh, with a lot of uh, Freemasonic uh, symbology. This is the Tau uh, sign. This is the IHS, and you can see the similarity between this IHS and this money. This is a Jesuit uh, tombstone, and so money having a triple bar, so I in the middle, H with the bar on the S, uh, uh, completing the H and the S itself. Look at here, the goddess of the earth, and you can see the uh, perhaps the origins of the uh, dollar symbol. This is now Ignatius Loyola and his family crest. We have the knight, papal knighthoods, and we have two wolves. They look even more like wolves. I consider these hounds of hell. Look at the witch's cauldron here. Look at the tassels, which uh, represent uh, priesthood. And here is the library. Uh, attributed to Loyola and look at the witch's cauldron and the wolves wolves now we understand that dogs and wolves they howl at the moon here's a tarot card then the two 
uh, dogs represented. Here's two dogs represented in the same the moon tarot card. You can see now the Egyptian uh, uh, symbology there. Uh, there's another god, Odin, who is one-eyed, that is uh, has uh, two dogs as well, MTV, and their twin-headed uh, uh, dog logo, MTV2. And then Boots, uh, the constellation with the two dogs. I think the, all of these are related somehow, but uh, very interesting uh, uh, that uh, that choices there and we'll see some of that later okay here is that uh, fish hat uh, that I took this photograph of that was a uh, pretty amazing um, uh, trip uh, look at the checkerboard pattern they have all of this and look at what is above there gargoyles what are these these are descriptions and they're uh, is this supposed to be protecting the church uh, these are demons look at that goat head on that look at these hybrid creatures uh, that is supposed to be what protecting the church this is actually demonic absolutely clearly please don't be friends with rome look what they do this is a harpy type creature look at the female breasts here that you saw in the baphomet and the legs of uh birds legs this kind of thing going on look at this fantasizing reality on cartoons for your children these are spiritual beings being religion being pushed on you and you think that this is not religion this is just fantasy and so you go up in arms against Jesus my goodness Jesus would not tolerate this stuff would not tolerate this stuff here is now the Pantheon, a beautiful building as an architect. I love this. There's the Oculus in the uh, in this building that where the sun shines through. All of the gods, pagan gods of Rome, were in here, including the god Jupiter. And this is that actual sculpture. And so when Constantine uh, converted to Christianity, what he did was took all these pagan gods out, kept Jupiter, and installed Jupiter into the Vatican. And so Catholics come and they've kissed this foot so much that it no longer looks like a foot anymore. And this is actually the god, the pagan god, Jupiter, made to look like Peter. <laughs> Unbelievable. So we have here, now you can see Anubis and Rome with its adoration of Egypt. Uh, we have two towers uh, as well, Skull and Bones. Anubis is a TV show I'll uh, cover a little bit on the, uh, but these are Catholic students and uh, Egypt combined. I'll cover that in the last section.